Hello viewers, hello everybody. It's Sunday the 21st of May, just one month before the solstice. And I'm on the top of the hill, well, a very small hill. And I'm going to be panning round and not moving much in this walk because I want to talk about Terry Miles. And I shall, I shall pan round looking down the hill. We're in St Andrew's Park, they're still building flats over there, there are people there having a picnic, lots of tr trees, birds are chirping, but the main feature is right behind me and that is Hillingdon House. Isn't that magnificent? You could almost call it the White House. Well it is a it's kind of cream colour. Anyway, how do I know Terry Miles? Well I sort of dabbled with YouTube, looked at things I quite liked uh, up until a couple of years ago and I, I saw a chap called Dr K playing the piano. I thought he's very good and it turned out his real name is, is Dr K but his real name is Brendan Kavanagh and he often would play the public piano in St Pancras Station and he played a lot of boogie woogie and it was quite good fun and sometimes a friend would join him and that friend happened to be a chap called Terry Miles and there'd be a bit of banter going on between them and Dr K would expose Terry's socks <laughs> which are always red, his trademark I suppose and um, I, I sort of got diverted by this and I thought well I'll watch some Terry Miles videos at the time he was performing every Tuesday, every Thursday rather mostly from home where he's got a studio, I can only call it that, full of synths, piano, all sorts of instruments. And usually his daughter, Elsie, films it. She herself is a very talented musician. And, but what I liked about Terry Miles was his good heart, his enthusiasm, and most of all, his extreme skill on the keyboards. He seemed to be able to play anything at a whim just remarkably, you know, the fingers would be flying along the keys. He seemed to like Boogie Woogie quite a bit. He'd play Red River Rock and a bit of Chaz and Dave and jazz it up. But it was always enthusiastic and happy and joyful and positive. And he just seemed like a nice bloke. And I thought, well, okay, uh, I'll, I'll follow you for a bit. And uh, he started to do, well, he's, he's always done pub quests where he tours the countryside, going into pubs he doesn't know, saying, is there a piano? They usually say, no, get, 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 go away. <laughs> but sometimes he'll find a piano, and even rare, more rarely, he'll find one that's reasonable to play. And he'll play it, and it always entertains the locals and just lifts the whole mood. Terry Miles, remember the name. Great pianist, great entertainer, good heart. He also does church quests. He wanders around to mostly old churches and asks if he can play the, the church organ. And they say yes, usually. So he'll play, bash out a hymn or two, which um, is also worth listening to because he does that reverent, reverent respectfully. It's easy for him to say. Anyway, so I, the main thing about Terry, and I'll keep this short, is that uh, he has done a lot of live streams. I didn't know what a live stream was until I watched one. And it's a video on YouTube where there's some scrolling down the right hand side and you can make a comment. And uh, I started to make comments. I, I uh, put my name in as Peter the Rock and it kind of got difficult to change that. So I'm still Peter the Rock. And I these be light hearted, jokey, banter comments and other people would also make comments hundreds of people would make a comment in a, an hour or two that he performed and we started to banter with each other and make jokes and it's all very funny and it, it's all around the world he'd be performing to live and there'd be a lady called Vivian Smiling in Hong Kong and there'd be people in America and even on the west coast of America you know I don't know what the time difference was but it was a lot so people would get up in the early hours or, or stay up to the early hours to listen and watch Terry Miles. Because he's, as I say, he's a man with a good heart. And 
I started to comment more and more and after about a year of this, back in March this year, I thought, well, I'll try and make a video. And I, I did try, but my Wi-Fi was glacially slow. I love that word, glacially, don't you? It's very rarely used. And um, it took about an hour to upload a two-minute video. I thought, well, this is no good. So I upgraded my Wi-Fi. I got a better smart cam camera, come phone. And it became much easier. And so therefore, I've, I've been experimenting for the last six weeks or so, making short, short and quirky videos, I call them. Not music based, and the reason behind that is I can sing. I think I can sing all right, but I haven't really, I don't really understand copyright rules yet and performing live and that sort of thing. So I'm, I will get my head around that, but that's, uh, to start with, I'm doing mostly sort of walking and walking views and just trying to compliment Terry and uh, do something a bit different. Now, all my videos are one take, no editing, start and beginning, whatever it is, four minutes, seven minutes, beginning to end, no uh, subtitles, no words, no music, nothing, which is why I had a problem deciding where to talk about Terry Miles because I talked about uh, Jeff Marshall. Um, he's the railway enthusiast, and I thought it appropriate to do that at a railway station. I did that at Norfolk Park two or three weeks ago. But uh, there's nowhere appropriate, because there's nowhere sort of particularly musical. So this is why I'm at a place where there's a bit of a view. Some people there just about to set up a picnic. The grass has been mown, the birds are chirruping, the sky is not too bad, and um, and we're in front of what used to be the home of Lord Hillingdon. God rest his soul. I wonder what happened to him. If only he knew what I was doing. Anyway, if uh, so I owe it all to... to <laughs> owe, it, owe it all. <laughs> I'm not uh, a big success yet because uh, the problem is that in the UK, if, if you, the word subscribe puts people off, they think, oh, I'm going to have to pay some money. Oh no, no, I don't want to pay any money, I don't want to give you my credit card details, all that sort of worry, you know, um, that's not the case. It just means that you're likely to be uh, reminded, if you want to be reminded, of another video that I produce. So uh, please, uh, please subscribe to Terry and, and to me. Terry's got about 436,000 more subscribers than I've got, but... Um, <laughs> And good luck to him. Uh, uh, Jeff Marshall has about 330,000 subscribers. Anyway, um, I, I just want to extol the virtues of, of Terry Miles and his daughter Elsie. Uh, this uh, video would go on for too long if I go on for too long, which I won't do now. But it's been lovely talking to you on a nice, reasonably sunny day. The sun did come out just before I started filming and then went in again. Uh, Terry Miles, my mentor, my inspiration, a very good bloke, a good heart, and a great pianist. So look him up. Lovely to talk to you. Subscribe if you'd like to. It won't hurt. 